Welcome to Kramer Control Tutorials. My name is Tom Copen, engineer at Kramer Electronics. In this video, we will dive deeper into the driver manager section of the KCONFIG software, specifically looking at serial commands and command syntax. If you are not familiar with the basics and purpose of the driver manager, please see previous videos in the series for a basic walkthrough. The serial commands and serial replies portion of each driver will be used for both Ethernet and RS-232 commands alike. Each command has a command name and command syntax. The command name is the name of the command that will be user-friendly and used throughout the kconfig configuration process. The command syntax is the actual command that will be sent to an RS-232 or Ethernet device when that command is called upon. Each character of the command syntax can be expressed in a combination of ASCII, hex, or decimal characters. Any ASCII character needs to be in quotes when entered into the driver manager. Any number, space, letter, or symbol contained within these quotes will be considered an ASCII character. Hex bytes should be written with the prefix 0x. The next two digits after the 0x will be a single byte of hex. Each hex byte can be any hexadecimal number from 00 to FF. Decibel numbers will be written with no prefix or suffix. Anytime you switch between ASCII, hex, or decimal, kconfig requires you to put a comma in between. As you can see in the HDMI 1 command for Kramer's VP438, the Y space 3 space 0 space 7 part of the command is in ASCII because it is in quotations. The command then requires a carriage return, which can be written in hex as 0x0d. Unfortunately, the carriage return is one of those things that does not have a corresponding character in ASCII and therefore must be written in hex. The comma simply separates the two styles. Commands with the correct syntax will be highlighted in green. If you make an error in kconfig's required syntax, the box will turn red. For example, if I leave off the last quotations, the box will turn red because I have an open quotation with ASCII characters that is not closed. Adding the quotation will turn the command green again. Please keep in mind that kconfig cannot tell you if the command you entered is correct and will actually control your device. It can only tell you if the command is valid or not. When you have finished entering the command, press the set button to store the command. If you wish to view the command in alternate syntax, you can choose between hex, decimal, or ASCII. These views will not change the command, but simply show the command entered in the selected format. To verify the command is correct, kconfig will allow you to test these commands with your third-party device in the test command section. The commands are tested through a Kramer master controller. Just as an example, if I wanted to test these commands of the VP438, I would have to connect my system like so. My PC running kconfig is connected to a master controller, in this case an SL12, via Ethernet with a crossover cable. Then I have RS-232-1 of the master controller connected to the VP438's RS-232 input. In kconfig, I will select the command I want to test, press the select port button, connect to my master controller, and then choose which port I have my third-party device connected to on my master controller. In this case, it's RS-232 on terminal block 1. Now when I pr press test command, the command will be sent to the VP438. Hopefully the command you sent was properly received by the device, in which case the device will respond. 
kconfig will listen to the response to this device and ask you if you would like to store the response under the serial replies section of the driver. Press OK to save this command, reply command. That reply command is now saved under serial replies, under input, under HDMI 1. You should now have an advanced understanding of how to create a serial driver for any RS-232 or Ethernet device. To learn more, please check out our other videos in the Kramer Tutorials series. For Kramer Electronics, I'm Tom Copen. Thanks for watching.